Uh, now, from, uh, from stargazing to two of EastEnders' biggest stars. Well, I think you'll find that the moon's actually... Yeah, to be honest, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, it's complicated. Please welcome Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie. Thank you very much. There you go. So it's wonderful to see you both. So, John, we saw there doing some astronaut yeah. training for Stargazing Live. Very excited. Who would make, do you think, the best astronaut out of you two? Uh, you. Why no, are you? Why she, are you? She's, she's a bit spicy. <laughs> she's got, you know, a bit airhead, aren't you? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, constantly gazing <laughs> at the stars, isn't she, girl? Uh, just gazing at the stars. <laughs> no, to be honest, to be honest, you were telling us earlier on that today you went out and bought a pair of moon boots, but it's for quite an interesting reason, isn't it? Why's that? Well, you were telling us earlier no, on about I've, this I've, leg I've of yours. I've been wearing. I've, I've broke my leg, and I've, I was. Um, I've came off crutches, and then I was wearing the big. Pump up air boot. There's the and proof that you've, bought, you've hurt your leg. Bought, Is that it there? Yeah. Look at the no, size because, of it. It's bigger because, than the room, isn't it? I did a photo <laughs> and people kept saying, break a leg, break a leg. So I took a picture and I said, if one more person says break a leg. Yeah. So I've just come out of that boot now. Right. And I've treated myself to a pair of, you know, boots. Today and was funny. Because so shoes. Because we were in town rehearsing and you walked for the first time yeah, in shoes. Yeah, it was really weird. It was like walking down the road with some of the all over the place. Like <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, we're, we're, we're going to be finding out why and what you were rehearsing for. Okay, lovely. We yeah. talk about this play, The Perfect Murder. Definitely. Yes. Now, um, Shane and Jesse, we know that you've worked together for, what is it, 13 years now? Feels like 40. Let, let me take you back. There's been marriages, there's been divorce, there's been affairs, there's been arson, there's been arson, there's been arson, arson yeah, yeah, baby swaps. Baby swaps, but then it all came together because you won the lottery. Yes, amazing. we did. It's all happened to Cat and Alfie, Beautiful. and we'll talk a lot more about EastEnders <laughs> a little bit later. But three weeks today, exactly. <gasps> is it, oh, it is an oh, oh, Yep, oh, you're on stage together. Yeah. for the first time in a play called Perfect Murder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us all about that, Ben Shane. It's a play written by, it was based on a novel by Peter James, the wonderful, you know, the author, the thriller writer, uh, on a book that he wrote many years ago. And it's an adaptation from the book, The Perfect Murder, and it's about this couple, Victor and Joan Smiley, that have been living, that are married 20 years, the marriage to feel it's coming to an end, they've got no children, and they're ending up loathing and detesting each other. And so one of us decides to kill the other. Um, right. Yeah, so we well, don't give too much right. away. It was interesting. This though. is the new play we're talking about, not EastEnders, is it? It could be EastEnders, yeah. But it's a black comedy, though, isn't yeah. it? It is a black yeah. comedy. It's, 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 it's very dark in places, but then it's, it's very funny. Mm -hmm. And um, We met the cast for the first time yesterday. We've got a wonderful cast. Yeah. It's Benjamin Wilkes, Stephen Fletcher, and... Uh, Simona Armstrong. Armstrong. Yeah. yeah, so it's a five-hander. You had a read-through, yeah. you've had a read-through already, haven't you? Yeah, we had yeah. the read-through. First one yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. and then we started quite, rehearsing quite today. It's quite a sombre read-through. Oh, it's, there, look. Yeah, it's, oh, it's very yeah. intense, yeah. Yeah. being the player. But we were just <laughs> comparing it to a one-show read-through, and really? this yeah. was ours this afternoon. Yeah, that's um, what, that, yeah, yeah, there you go. You're just, yeah. just in the opener there, aren't yeah, you? I sat there in that seat, I know exactly that's what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the only one we could show, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but obviously, I mean, you, you, you're very talented actors, a pair of you, but it must be difficult for you, because you've worked so closely together for the last 13 years, to sort of see different characters within each other. Is, is, that, is, that, is that a challenge, or is it Not really, quite, be because, because we have worked so closely together, and we're such close friends, mm. we know how each other works, mm. um, and then, and, you know, playing two different characters is, is, is exciting. And, and they uh, are very, and very we're different. we're finding it all organically, and, and it's just, yeah, very different. Yeah. So it must be a joy for you to actually do that together. It yeah. is, it really it's, is. It's very nerve-wracking, though. Mm. Uh, you know, it feels like there's a, a, a lot of pressure, I and mean, we're literally nine weeks right across the country, and we, you know, we kick off in Cheltenham, like you say, in a mm. few weeks' time. And, um, Unlike, you know, doing playing in EastEnders, if you get it wrong, stop, cut, can I can't do it again. And going back to the theatre and just, yeah. like, I'm already thinking about getting petrified, I might have to go to the toilet in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and the difference, of course, because in EastEnders, you know, once you've done the script, you throw it away. With this one, you've mm. got the same script until the 2nd of April. So how much do you think it'll evolve then? Are you actors like that who like to sort of... Oh, by the nine weeks, it'll be a musical. <laughs> uh, I'm killing the wife. Um, <laughs> no, it'll... It's, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very pacey play, isn't it? Yeah. Um, mm. you, you know, and you've always got that fear as an actor of forgetting a line or, you know, doing the wrong thing. But uh, again, because we've worked so closely together, you, you, if you drop the ball, you'll be able to pick mm. it up. It's like it's like throwing a ball, isn't it? Yeah. It. And as funny as it is, though, it you know, it's still about murder which, you know, is not a funny subject in itself. No. But what happens around that is very dark. Mm. And, uh, you know, I'd like to go and see it. 
<laughs> well, when is it on now? Well, when I was just about to say, Go the on. touring show, uh, The Perfect Murder, begins in Cheltenham, as Shane said, on the 2nd of February and goes nationwide into the 2nd of April, so plenty of opportunity. I hope yep. you come and see it. Good. Well, we, we will. will. Yeah, we'd okay. love to. We'd love to. We're going to go aside. Um, so, tonight now then, big storylines happening mm -hmm. between Kat and Alfie. Mm. All the secrets that we've been waiting to find out about yeah. are being revealed without giving it away. Give All us right. a little flavour then. Go on. I think tonight is where Alfie finally reveals to Kat about his uh, brain tumour. Th well, you've just done it now? Oh. Uh, we just, um, yeah, rewind, it's not live. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's, is it tonight? I, I think well, it's listen, all we, we know tonight. that obviously since uh, Charlie Slater died, it's all kicked off. It's all kicked off. Yeah. I mean, Kat has just been through everything, like, yeah. within a space of a day. Yeah. Mm. Um, I know that in Christmas real life, suspenders. I know that in real life, Charlie's fine. Derek, because I saw Derek the world star. Derek is fine. <laughs> <laughs> he was so yeah. convincing, though. He was so... Yeah. Good oh. in those scenes. Yeah, it's brilliant. That at some some points I, I I had to step out because I, I really thought. Did you? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was so good. Mm. It was oh. scary, and it was upsetting as well because uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's 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 Derek. We've done great stuff together. I've known him for years, mm. and he came in, and and, and then he, his character died, and it, it was it was it was awful. It was horrible to, to film. Well, listen. Thank you for bringing an exclusive clip with you tonight. So let's just have a look at what's going on in tonight's episode. Who do you think you are? Coming round here accusing me of killing Dad. Well, you did, didn't you? Nan phoned me. Told me all about it. You said I killed him? Of course not. But you were chatting and... It weren't my fault. Come on, Nan, get your stuff together. Where's the little girl's room? I'll, I'll show you. You never change, do you? You never accept responsibility for your actions. If I throttled you, I'd gladly take responsibility. It was my dad and all you know. <laughs> That's with a great. Oh, I'll tell you, she's such a great actress. She's lovely, Carly. I love, I love working with her. And when she first came into it, I was talking to her, and I kept thinking, "Who do you remind me of? You remind me of someone. I can't think who it is. Shane, who does she remind you of?" And I couldn't think. And then I thought, "Oh, it's me." <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it, it, it all continues because there's a whole new drama yeah, that's really coming out exciting, yeah. with Cat and Alfie in it. Uh, when you go, you go off over the Irish yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we we start. We, we were brought back to EastEnders, thanked by the, the exec producer Dominic Treadwell Collins, to tell a story about why we leave. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of based around a cat finding out that she's got a, she gave birth to twins. So we start filming in Ireland uh, straight, literally straight after the, the, the play. We're out there for three and a half, four months, and we're just so excited. And we've got, yeah. uh, we know, to be honest with you, I'd love to sit here and tell. We know the story. We know Alfie's got brain tumor. We know Cat's trying to find a son. But other than that, we don't know where it's being filmed. Uh, well, tomorrow we've got a big meeting, and we're going to be looking at scripts. Uh, we haven't got a title for it at the moment, but all we know, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be happen. massive. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's never been done before. When's it on well, the telly then? I think it's October? next up, um, October. October? October, November? It'll be this October, year. November, yeah. It'll be this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Um, well, you can see Kat and Alfie's revelations straight after us here on BBC One, and their very own, as we said, their very own drama series will be airing at the end of the year, hopefully. Now.